becomes a lot more comforting when you think of that way. Alright. God damn it, dude. I'm not reading that out loud. The only way that's getting read out loud is if it shows up on a donation. And even then, that wouldn't be the worst donation Tariko's ever given me. Nothing's ever gonna beat the birthday one. The funnier thing about that, like, clip is that... It's even funnier because... For some reason, at that point in time, my text on my donation alert was exponentially larger than it normally was. I don't remember why that happened, but... You just see in big letters, Ohio Onichi. <laughs> I gotta be careful because, like, my pinky hurting is not good. Not just for the run, but also for, uh, you know, when I play Doom 64. Because I have, I have shipped mapped as my uh, run key. Like, I know it's ergonomic to use something else like the mouse button for that, but, like, I'm so old school that shift is, like, what I'm always going to use. The only thing that's, like, unconventional for me, as far as, like, key mapping goes, is, uh, when I play Rise of the Triad, I have used set to space, and that's really just because it's what I'm used to. I think it was, like... One way I was playing it had it mapped that way. But since I don't use the space key for anything because there's no jumping in the game, it's kind of works out. And then I think I have space as like my strafe on key in Doom for when I do SR50. sloppy, but not an issue. Not a huge issue, anyway. Not something that I'm gonna lose sleep over. I'm kind of sad that the Acolytes just seems to be generally the consensus is that it's just either okay or people don't care for it. Stinky farty one. Damn. How's he gonna recover from that? No, fuck! Ah! Uh... That's gonna fuck up my splits real bad. <laughs> Menuing went off the rails there for a second. I don't 
Don't do that. Don't be a sussy baka. What happened to your sc <laughs> Skavidi Riz? I feel like, I don't know man, I hope that they're good announcements, but I feel like I'm going to just be let down. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just being cynical, but I feel like announcements aren't as exciting anymore. Mainly just because there's not a lot of fighting games I'm super interested in these days. Like, part of me wants to get into Tekken 8, but I don't know, man. Shoot's not the command, you fucking wiener, it's attack. God, I thought you were a, a legacy member. Also, hi, Zergent. Takes a wiener. You know what? No, you're right. You're right. I know because I am a wiener. I I acknowledge that. You have no ammo ammunition against me anymore. I am going to embrace the title. So we should get these one cycle or a trash cycle here. Rip Wiener has an unorthodox <laughs> ring to it. It kinda does. But you're not calling me that. Uh, get out of the way. Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but fuck it, we ball. I really like how, how low my health is right now, but... I'm just gonna fucking hope everything goes right here! Yeah, I've got like two shots of survivability right here. I was lucky. But going off what you said, Tariko, about uh, barring players, uh, people who complain like that are literally the same people who've been getting hit by the same fucking mix-ups that he has since Tekken 3. So, uh, sounds like a skill issue to me, buddy. Uh, come on. Paul's who I play in Tekken, or I played in pretty much every Tekken game. I like Paul because Paul never really was like a super high execution character. I know it makes you sound like a fucking gorilla, but like, okay, this isn't going good. Hi. Hi. I'm coming to get my machine. All right, sounds good. I will. He's 
Surgeon says hello. Hi, Surgeon. Alright, so I'm probably gonna either save very minimal time or save no time at all in this split because of how sloppy it was. But it's not enough for me to worry about resetting. That being said, though, I kind of need Boba Fett to go good now. Um, that's not how that fight normally goes, but it worked out. I couldn't get to the supercharge, but his deflected shots did enough damage to him. <laughs> so, uh, that's cool. It's kind of lit, kind of based. I'm surprised, too, but... Honey always tells me she doesn't like 3D fighters. Okay, so I lost a little bit of time there. Here comes Spike. Uh, my Narshada split didn't happen for some reason. That's cool. Honey says hello. I don't even know why I bothered picking up that health. It's not worth it, because if I get hit once with 40 health, I die. Maybe it's because it made me feel better, I don't know. Good exit there. Hit me. Thank you. Wow, nerds complaining about nerd shit? That's unheard of. Boba Fett fight. It's not the insane gold split I had, but it's enough that I'm gonna basically break even. That's, okay, so I'm gonna put my two cents here. That's a weird fucking line to hear in a Star Wars anything. It shouldn't be because they've said hell before. Like, literally in episode four, I believe Uncle Ben says something about he better do something where there will be hell to pay. Right, let's see if I get this. That's not good. Alright. Um. Well. Not the worst thing, I guess. More or less keep the run going. I'm not even gonna bother trying to do these jumps right now. Again, it's only a couple of seconds faster. And I do have a good amount of time to save on Arc Hammer on these splits. I do have to remember that. 
Yesterday's night, yesterday night's run, I got an insanely good gold split on Arc Hammer. Like, it wasn't enough to salvage the run in its state, but it was really good. Hello? Thank you. That would be something else. Can you just imagine? <laughs> just... <laughs> Swear words in Star Wars. Jar Jar Binks is like, what the fuck? <laughs> You sub, see any? <laughs> Fuck it, I should write a Star Wars series. right over that, what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, and then C-3PO follows up by hitting the dab. <laughs> trying to risk me up like I'm baby crawling. <laughs> Alright. Focus time. I need to stay focused and calm, so please everyone be considerate. Come on, dude, fucking die already. Golded Executor, that's interesting, I didn't think I did, because I had such bad fights. Well, not even bad fights, it was just one of the fights that the Dark Trooper didn't go right. Alright. Nice! Little bit slow there, but not a big deal. Would be better than- yeah, I mean, you're right. Like, that shit's kinda cringe. Alright, I'm gonna be a little bit safe here. And I'm actually going to go for a death warp here because I want full health. Better safe than sorry. Felt a little bit weird, but I'm glad I got it. Alright. I don't think I needed to death warp there, but better to go in than with as much as I can health wise. Alright, just a 
with these guys to cooperate. That's not how you cooperate. A little bit slow to get that extra ammo, but I was using a lot more than I wanted to. Alright, I just need this fight to go right, and we will be in sub-21 territory. Oh shit. I thought I had him! Yes, we did it. Not a great time, very sloppy, and there's a lot of potential time save, but let's go. First uh, sub-21 in remaster for myself. I also think it's the first twenty sub-21 in remaster. It's not the first sub-21 in Dark Forces by any means. The world record's like 18 minutes in DOS, but... First accomplished sub-21 in remaster, so fuck it, we take that. Biggest potential time save here is fuel station. I've got a lot- few- I got some more time I can squeeze out of our camera. If I just play a little cleaner next time. <laughs> 